Okay, hello. Good Hi. afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, can you tell us who you are and why we are here? Okay, my name is Olufemi Oyewale. I'm a visual artist based in Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, this is my third solo exhibition at the Art Lagos. Okay. Um, first, of, this is the first painting that we are right next to. Can you tell us about it? The inspiration? Or? Okay, the last ride. Um, traditionally, uh, I'm an oil, I'm an oil trade painter. I paint oil, I paint uh, watercolor, I paint acrylic, and I was trained in the traditional uh, forms. The proportion, elements, and principles of art and design. But I feel um, in the art field today, contemporary art is being misinterpreted. You know, people do all sorts of things and um, they feel they can go scot free because um, they hide under contemporary art. But if you look at abstract, so abstract also have the um, basic elements and principles of art and design. So I Decided to go contemporary, different from what I do before, you know, the, the night scenes, evening scenes with the cool colors. So I decided to um, go the opposite direction using warm colors. So if you see, there's a green, uh, this green, mm -hmm. and different shades of green. And you see the red, it's a warm red with orange, um, with a little bit tint. Mm -hmm. Then um, the usual light, if you see the yellow. So I, I try to work with warm colors and also um, try to push draftsmanship, which is sound drawing. That no matter how contemporary you want to be or you want to go, you shouldn't throw away where you're coming from. And even if you are going to move towards another, another form, it should be a sequential change, not just a total change. And um, but if you look around, you see uh, different media that I'm working with, you know, you see carpets. Um, okay, so that's my watercolor. You see carpets. Uh, I say you shouldn't have a, a, a strong switch. Okay. Something is connecting all the paintings, all the artworks together, which is the mood. And um, if we talk about mood, you expect that through the evening scene, afternoon scene, or morning scene, on either landscapes, um, seascapes or any other scapes, land, sea, then um, if we talk about move, we can move. If we talk about mood here on figurative, this is an acrylic piece. If we talk about mood on figurative, we talk about the facial expression or the posture. So, but here I limited it to the facial expression. And you know, over there I talked about draftsmanship. Over uh, the seascape there, I talked yes. about draftsmanship. You see, uh, telling your stories through lines. You know, you, if you want to go contemporary, yes, you can. But that shouldn't push away the sound draftsmanship you've learned over the years. You shouldn't hide under um, any form that doesn't really, you know old value okay now i talked about expression mm -hmm. mode of the day then figurative expression so we check this big piece here this is a this is one of your carpet paintings yes this is one of the carpet paintings if you check you know apart from the colors i'm always paying more attention to the eye because it's telling more of the stories apart from you know the beautiful colors cool or warm colors I'm always paying attention to the highs. Okay, let's move towards this. Yeah, you can, this might be a form of the um, Ashoke, but it's not Ashoke, it's still the carpet piece. Mm -hmm. So I, I tie to this local girl. You know, people might find it derogatory, but it's not derogatory. When you say something local, something um, homegrown within that vicinity, ahead you know and if you check if you check the the um air design it's more of what your boss called the patel or the yes. all back, <laughs> all back. Like, like like that uh -huh. then if you check the facial expression the details on the facial expression so i get my inspiration from different things could be politics could be um, religion 
you know, you could be discouraged. You are too local. You are a local boy. You are a local girl. I try to interpret it. What's the general interpretation? And what's the real interpretation? How can I um, introduce that to my heart? So, uh, yes, let's move ahead. Okay, if you check this, I talked about facial expression. Mm -hmm. But if you see now, she's not opening her eyes. There's the other part, uh, like um, it, it's in series. So, if you check this, the eyes are open. Why we can't wait? It's titled Why We Can't Wait, series one, two. And um, I got inspiration during this um, George Floyd time. Uh -huh. You know, it might be difficult for you to relate it to this. No. When I hear the story, I uh, I digest it and I get to interpret it to my heart. I get to interpret it to my heart. Why we can't wait, you know? Um, you know, the racism is, racism that. So beyond racism, okay, what's happening within my vicinity? Election is coming through. People are just tired, you know? Um, over there, that's um, in, in, in the United States, and uh, uh, people make laws um, to punish racists, things that. But is it being is it being uh, effective? Is it being um, um, put into action? So here in Nigeria, politicians promise heaven and heaven on earth. You know, they, they, they talk about different things they'll do for the citizens, and um, they always fail. So, but. Um, the, the sensitization is out that, oh, this time around we get our PVC, we do this, we do that, we won't vote for um, those that will lie, those that will. We are hoping to have a beautiful um, uh, 2023 election. So we can't just wait. Why we can't wait? We can't wait because we're tired of the lies they give to us. So now if you check, the, there's a, 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 I wouldn't say Modi, it's a much more. Uh, calm mood, sober mood, in a reflective moment, yes. and this looks straight into your eyes. Like, see, I'm just tired of all these lies. I'm just tired of all these stories. Now, with my stories, now I try to bring the aesthetic aspects, the beauty. That's why you're seeing the beautiful colors, the whites, the blues. You know, and why did I go into carpets? I was just. Um, I was just tired of using conventional mediums, the oil colors. I felt there was something more. Can we get um, um, beautiful artwork beyond pigments, beyond the person from the tube? And I felt, okay, let me go into research. Then I, I, I did this during my master's program. This was the research during my master's program. And um, I decided to explore um, something different. So I decided to use um, rug as a medium of carpet as a medium of expression and painting. So basically, that's the thing that inspired me to paint things yes. and to pick up the mood. Um, because uh, acrylic to carpet painting seems like such a huge um, change, but I kind of get it with uh, with your explanation. Um, can we look at those over there? Yes, yeah. we can. Two. So. You know, I started working with colors, colors, colors. Then I felt, okay, let me go back to shading. Mm. Shading goes beyond um, having the pencil, dark, middle, light on paper. It goes beyond um, charcoal on, on paper or on the surface. And I felt, okay, let's work on tones, values, acrylic. Can I... You know, the draftsmanship is still there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can I have just almost monochrome? It's not totally monochrome. No. You know, the cream canvas, the cream surface, then the the um, subject there, let's have it in a monochromatic um, way. So that pushed me into doing this. So, um, what, what's this painting called? Oh, uh, siblings. Si siblings. I thought so. I was like, they can't be mirror images, but no, they no, could be siblings. No siblings. Right. And no matter how different they are, it's quite difficult for this to uh, say I'm complete without, without the other. Yeah. 
As someone who has a sister, I agree. Yeah, yeah. So, you, so you, you, no matter how annoying your sister is, <laughs> you can't just. You, you can't, can't let her go. Her. It's okay. You guys, you are how many? Oh God, I hate that girl. I want no. <laughs> Fantastic. So it's, it's and um, this is uh, medi the medium. Is it's acrylic. Acrylic, it's acrylic as well. Acrylic. Okay. And then moving on to this girl. Okay. That's um, actually this started the Why We Can't Wait series. Oh. Same story. Same story. Started same story. You know, and uh, it goes beyond politics. You know, in relationships. Um, you know, the guy will come tell you the same story all the time, and we still mess up. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so if you check, if you check the facial expression, it's like uh, she just, looks exasperated. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Like, I'm, okay. I'm just tired of the same story all the time. So after this, this 20, it was done 2019. After this, then we had the um, George Floyd issue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It came up again, and I, I, I went off. Okay. Uh, I noticed that a lot of your paintings, or um, yeah, paintings are the figurative ones they have women as the subject is that uh intentional or is that just you just find maybe the female forms or female face really to be more expressive yeah female forms are more expressive to capture more interesting to capture and um i i feel like i can i can tell my story bet stories better with the female expression you know the the male expression is just straightforward